Katie, I'm gonna be recording, so be quiet. I'm gonna be recording, so be quiet. Yo guys, what is up? It's me, Fun Guy Gaming, for the win here, and today we are on Silver Shine SMP Revival Season Two. This season, we are going to be doing a game mode that I invented called Countries. And this game mode called Countries, everyone is going to have their own countries. They all have borders around uh, that are marked by walls. Yes, we invented it, and it's just going to be regular vanilla. And remember, no PvP, guys. No PvP whatsoever. The server is hosted by Infinity Scopes. The two co-owners are Kurt Buskis 23 and Kevin Koala 72. The players on this server <laughs> is Infinity, Big Daddy, Minecraft, Captain, Upos, and Quentin. And so right now we're just going to go in the process of making the countries and inviting people into the countries. And in the countries, you can uh, have war, you can trade with other countries, and have borders, and you pretty much survive with them. After a while, we will play many games. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, everyone, everyone on the server, come over here. Break the bottom Usering block. The channel timed out. Oh gosh, everyone, uh, break the bottom block, the bottom block of this of any tall grass. It turns into like a flower. Don't you guys see that? Captain, you're not believing. Yeah, that is so crazy. So All crazy. Right, so we are going to go into the teams, or the countries. So, I'm going to go first. I will invent the country, or found the country, of Leland. In this country, I invite Quint- Oh, and the countries have a maximum of five people. They can either accept or decline. I invite Quentin. You accept. You can unmute your mic now. Yeah. Uh, I invite Big Daddy. Yeah. Microphone right. activated. I invite the cool kids group. You boss. I am sorry for the Okay, low okay, I join. I join. Yeah. All right. So we have one, enough. two, three, four. That's like half the freaking <laughs> server right now. Yeah. Well, every country has five, and then for the last person. I will have to choose Captain Koala. I accept. Uh, I will have to. Uh, I don't want to, but I have to. No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, it, it felt <laughs> like that. So, I, you know, I have one spot right. left. Uh, okay, I'll take Koala, you know, because I have to. I have hey, to hey, take hey, one more me, guy. Hey, 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 hey. And you guys can invite more members. Because all the members are not on the server right now, so when more members come on, you can invite them. Get out of here! I got a country. Lord, I'm actually the owner of the Get server. Get out of our country. So you're the better. We're the so better team, this man. This is the intro clip. Uh, we can all break up into our separate team speaks of Leland and whatever they're calling their country. And Losers yeah. is what they're calling theirs. Thanks James, for watching this I know intro. Where you live. See you guys. Nerd. So, uh, as you guys saw, I'm with. Fun guy's team now, and fun guy really went out of his way, and he just started traveling and traveling and traveling, and gave us the coordinates, and we have to slowly make our way there. And I'm the first one here, except fun guy. So this is going to be our country, our place, our base, and one of the reasons is I don't know if you can see it, but there is a Underwater fortress, I think they're called, right over there. And the meaning is that that's going to be our HQ. And yeah, that really was a very, very long travel, even with my horse right here. Uh, I, I do have a name tag, so uh, I don't know what to name it, but if you have any suggestions, Guess put it down in the comments below because I really have no idea what to call it. Come on, get in. There we go. Yeah, I know it's all very primitive, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Beginning slow, always. So, 
Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Two, one. Yo, guys, what's up? It's me, Fun Guy Gaming for the win here. And today we're on Silver Sign, uh, season one, episode one. And today we are here with you, folks. Hello. And I lost my intro footage, so I'm gonna try and do a preface, which I'm probably gonna do right now. So in this season, we're gonna do something called countries, where everyone is assigned to a certain country. Me, you, post Quentin, Big Daddy, and Captain Koala are in Leland, and we have our own little banner. It's 1.8. Uh, we walked our really beautiful far banner. Out. Yep, our beautiful banner. We have quite a bit of stuff. I'm not gonna show our chest right now, because the other country might be watching, and we always just want to keep that stuff secret. So we don't have too good of stuff, but we have we're pretty decent on stuff, right? Yep, we got polished andesite like crazy. Yep, and now we're going to go and build our base. And we are not going to include the parts where we build the secret parts and the storage room parts. So, you ready to begin, you boss? Sure, let's go. Alright. So we're gonna need a shovel. Uh, I got one. Oh, can you give me one? I, I only have one. I'll go get another one, then. We also have an auto smelter. Uh, oh snap! I'm showing our chest now. At least uh, not the good parts. Doesn't matter. Yeah, they pretty much already know. So, um, all right, there we go. I didn't show the diamond chest. I don't think. Not much to see there, actually. So. Yep, we barely have any diamonds. Ink wink. Okay, so... so uh, let's start out. And we have to get a completely flat area. With no going down. And Just how? completely level it out. I, where? Here? Uh, which level should we do it on? I don't I'm know. I'm just trying to clear all the... Alright, there's a bunny here. Hey, buddy. How you doing, bud? Alright. Hello, bunny, bunny, um, bunny. They're so cute. Um, so, where should we start? I have no idea. So, how Perfect. big is the castle going to be? Huge. Uh, you, you completely leave me in the dark here, so I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 7. Okay. So it's gonna take it out of, up about one fourth of this whole entire biome. Oh god. Yeah. So we're probably not even going to have enough andesites. Exactly, that's why I wanted to go ham on andesite. But all we need is like a little bit of starter stuff. So I think we should make the beginning layer on this wide level. Okay. Guess let's start. Alright guys, I'm here with Yupos, Hello. Captain Koala, and there's Hi. a few people on the server. And today, uh, we made a box of andesite uh, that we saw in this earlier clip, but I don't like it. Was it was ugly, and so we tore it down. Yep, mm -hmm. we, it's ugly, so we're tearing it down, and uh, me and Captain are going to build the wall of the Hall of Banners, and Yupos too. Yeah. So, here's what I'm thinking we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so it has to be four blocks tall, so everyone has some headroom, and four blocks across. Can we use some stone brick? I have an idea. Uh, I think we should do, use andesite since we have a crap ton of it. Yeah, okay. So. 
Oh, my pick broke. Well, I heard All that. Right. So... This is gonna be the second wall. Why are we putting it all the way over here? Because we can. Answer to everything. That's what I always think Obama says. Because we can. Okay. If he makes a decision. Alright, so... Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to hang our allies' banners. We are okay. allied with Team Extreme, as you saw in that other clip. So we are? Team Extreme. Yeah, currently we banner. are. Pretty so have... easy one. Yeah, they pretty much have the Japanese flag. Here's Leland. And I believe that's all we're allied with for now, so... Yeah, we're, we have more banners. We're, we're uh, allied with Leland. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 we're totally that, not Leland. That, that makes complete sense. Ah, uh, Captain, digging out the floor there. And I'll put a roof on. Remember, we can make, um, stone brick, er, stone Mossy, slabs. Stone brick, and all that stuff. We can make oh God. we can make stone slabs with the uh. We can also craft a, a cracked stone brick and mossy cobblestone. We can. Yeah. yeah uh, haven't you heard? That was like one of the first updates that they added. Haven't you heard? Eight. Okay, that's interesting. To get mossy stone brick, you can buy stone brick and vines. For cracked stone brick, I forgot the recipe, and mossy cobble, you just get a piece of cobble and vines. Okay. Seems easy enough. Okay. Right. Th the roof's almost gone. All right, so I think this is our hall of banners for now. We're hey. we're going to need to add some more detail to it later, but yeah, I can do that. It, it'll do for now. Have you noticed how the banners wave? Just yep. Bit? That looks awesome. I imagine there's gonna be some sort of MC Edit filter where you can like customize it with any sort of way you want it. Eventually, uh -huh. they'll do that. Just maybe. Alright, so yeah. I think that'll be it for this clip. And we'll see you guys in the next clip. And welcome back. And yeah, we found a village. And I'm going to show you one of the villagers. This is going to be our villager breeding system. I don't really know how that really worked. Wow, well, how, how did you get in there? Just, no. Okay, I'm may talk to the others that there are zombies spawning but anyway no spider no apparently villager breeding systems involve a lot of doors i've never built one but apparently they do Here, this villager is worth it all silk touch book awesome and that's not even all no 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 he also has a fortune book and he also has a looting book this guy <laughs> It's just awesome. I love you. That's why we caged you in. Yeah. So we walled the city immediately with more polished and aside because we got like a double chest full of that stuff right now. Oh, which. But yeah. And I don't know what the plans are, but I hope we'll move them to our base. Because the other way around is going to take a really long time. So, I'll see you guys later.
and I'm back at our base and in this clip I would like to show off what we already got so we got our pile of banners right over there but not finished yet so I'm not going to show it yet but that's going to be our hall of banners then we got our enchantment table two enchantment tables don't really know why two but you got two apparently we got our to-do list that got blown up so you only see the third objective we got um oh well what's the drip wire doing uh it doesn't matter nothing blew up so i don't give a shit um this is our uh automatic furnace station just a, a little one to get us started and a lot of chests which got blown up too yeah we're having a slight creeper problem over here i have no idea what this is actually I really have no idea. I'll have to ask, but yeah. And over here we got the cow farm. Um, it's Mumbo Jumbo's design, but I added a, a tiny little thing, like place the button over here as well, making it easier to breed them. There we go. Now they've all bred, and I added this little lever here, uh, w which, uh, uh, with which, well, English, <laughs> with which I can decide whether the little cows um, either stay in the breeding section or get sent into the cooker. Uh, right now they're going to stay in the breeding section because we would like to have a lot of cows in there and we also got our little sheep sheep farm but we're going to change it to the same design actually a bit later but not right now and then over here we got melon melons and pumpkins and then that little building right there oh wait, wait well spent lag this little building right over here is our strip mine so we just jump down there we go and we're in the strip mine now why is this all blocked off uh, i need to go this way but apparently somebody doesn't want us to go this way and then in here we got our mob spawner just a little one nothing special um, I'm going to go AFK for a while here, and then I'll show you how it works. And 15 minutes later, this is how it looks. We got a whole crap ton of skeletons in there, so first we flick the lever, just to prevent any more skeletons to get in the mob softener. Then we press the mob softener, there we go, and now we wait a little bit. burn anymore and now we can just one shot them all with our fist I'm going probably going to be adding stuff to this but I don't know what's happening oh got a bow normally I I'm having a bit of lag right now that's that's the problem So, yeah, the mob spawner. I might show you guys, if you want to, I might show you guys how, how it all works, but it's it's really easy, it's nothing special really. I already got four bows. And I'm going to place a hopper in a chest, <laughs> at least, because this... This isn't how it's supposed to work. Okay, so let's place it back. There we go. And and there we got new ones. Yeah. So 
and I'll see you guys in the next clip. You see what I mean? A little creeper problem. There are already two just right over there. Then when you're crafting, they come closer and then they blow all the chests up. Yeah, we're, we're having slight problems. We really need to light this place up and soon. But I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Silvershine. Don't forget to post uh, in the comments uh, a name for this horse. Or, and uh, whether you want to see a video about uh, mob spar. And yeah, if you liked it, leave a like and comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.